All right, Banshee Fever 750 coming at you. Haven't made a video in a while uh, for you guys that have been fellow YouTubers that have been uh, guys and gals or whoever been following my build. Um, there's a little something different in the works here, as you can see. Yep, looking a little different. Made some improvements to her. Well, while the Banshee's been sitting up here on the table uh, under the knife, uh, you know, if you guys have been following me, following, following the progress on this, um, you know, I've got a bunch of parts out there being chromed out. Sent out a lot of parts to the chromer. Um, the turnaround on the parts, they said uh, originally six to eight weeks. Uh, when I made it down there, it went up from eight to ten weeks. So it's been about four weeks already. Uh, I'm not pressuring the chromer, let him do his thing. But uh, that side cover right there and that front ignition pulse pickup there. Uh, just underneath the, the the coolant bottle, which the coolant bottle is going to get relocated. I just haven't got to it. But those parts have been uh, sent out to the chromer. I pulled them off of uh, a little donor engine I have over here. I pulled the covers off. That way I can kind of leave mine intact. I ordered all the new gaskets and everything I need. Um, those all came in. But uh, anyways, I'm here to celebrate the new look of the Banshee. Uh, that paint job there, you know what? Actually, that, the original plastics I had, I, I called up about two three different people and I sent them pictures of what I wanted to do and, and the graphics and the, the design I wanted and I was getting quotes of anywhere from $2,500 to $2,000 one guy quoted me $1,300 for an airbrush job but then I kind of just says ah, I'm not going to tempt fate with that I'd rather you know go in the middle and pay two grand if I had to but anyways I was looking around and I found some guy in Phoenix Arizona they had some awesome awesome paint job on this banshee because he was selling the plastics in the seat and they're a little chipped up so I, i'm gonna take them and i'm gonna have a local airbrusher maybe uh, do some touch up on the uh you know on the plastics here and there um but that's the new look that's you know all the p pastel colors it's phoenix arizona <laughs> isn't that pretty cool so anyways that's yeah that's what's going on i haven't made any recent videos but uh it's just been busy you know we've been writing and doing other things and working and you know, but I just wanted to show you what's going on with the Banshee. To get the updates and what's going on. I have this cover right here for the alternator. It's going to get chromed. Shift levers going to get chromed. That's why it's off. Um, the uh, water pump housing, that's out to the chromer. Various brackets for the lighting, all this stuff. It's all, it's all at the chromer. But there's a new look at the Banshee. Yeah, I'm really happy about this. You know, got everything, got it all for, for a good deal. Um, love the look. I mean, it's different out in Illinois out here. Uh, everything's painted a little different. It's more blade style and chains and stuff. We're down by Chicago, so go figure. But uh, yeah, this is the Phoenix, Arizona look, and this will stand out. This is really, really cool looking. I'm excited about this. But um, yeah, that's, that's a little update. Chrome's on its way, uh, ma making small improvements, uh, as you can see. I also ordered the uh, tail light. That's actually in, in one of my packages over here. I got a bunch of boxes with stuff that came in. Yeah, I did a 12 o'clock wheelie and touched down with the tail light and shattered the lens. The light still works, but the lens is all cracked, so I ordered a new one. So I'll get that back on there. Uh, there's a few other things. I'm going to get rid of that clip-on chain link that I hate, and I'm going to go with the, uh, the rivet style that I normally use. So anyways, uh, that's... What's going on with the Banshee? That's the new look of her. Loving it. I mean, this is great. Oh yeah, and a side note, uh, I forgot to mention that uh picked something up over here. You see that? Picked up another Banshee. I actually picked this up for my daughter. Uh, she had a blaster and she outgrew that. She's had that for years. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's kind of nice to have another little brap in the garage. Uh, I almost forgot how fun these two strokes are to ride. Uh, I've been running the street bike powered ATVs for so long and uh, so I took this thing out for a ride and um, I'll tell you what that way that power band kicks in it's just it's it's so fun I mean this thing handles real nice but uh yeah th this is a good good find here uh, you can see it's got the graphics it's dirty now we've been riding them so you know this is what they're supposed to look like after you ride but it's got the black widow on there you can see it's got the Tumi T6, the latest version of them. Exhaust pipes and and the uh, silencers. 
It's got the SS rims on there. Um, they're a blue axle with the wave rotor. See, it's a bunch of upgrades on this thing. Just the more you look at it, the more you find them. It's got the racing tether on there. It's a fresh build, fresh top end. Uh, billet master cylinder for the brake. It's got the fanny bars with the locking lock grips. So those are nice. You don't have to worry about the glue, you know, coming apart. I've got the heel guards, so I've got to put those on. Six pack rack, of course. Uh, let's see what we got. Cane and air filter. So this thing's set up. It's tuned just right. I mean, the thing starts in a second kick, first kick, you know, and it, that's that's with the 14-year-old girl starting it. So this thing's set up. Oh, it's also got a temperature gauge by Trail Tech. TTL, I think it's Trail. Yeah, that was it says Trail Tech on top, but it's a temperature gauge for the engine. Um, it's got the Nerf bars. I got to get a new net for that. But uh. Oversized radiator with the Black Widow logo in the front, which is cool. You can see it's got the aluminum radiator. The Fast One bumper. A lot of cool stuff, you know, but I picked this up for my girl, so it's going to be really cool. You know, she's wanted a Banshee for a while, and, uh, you know, we finally made the move. And, uh, you know, there's my baby uh, forever. <laughs> I love this Banshee. But, uh, you know, I'll tell you what, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be really fun, fun this summer. Um, hopefully I can get mine going so I can start doing some writing myself but there's various parts I ordered a new chain new chain EK520 chain for for my daughter's band she got that set up this must be the uh, yeah this is the tail light that I was talking to you about for the band she uh, update on the outlaw 500 or outlaw originally it was a Polaris outlaw 500 but we're putting a street bike four cylinder engine in there and uh, some motor mounts, kind of been working on it here and there. Um, see this plate's gotta get welded on here. So, you know, just a lot going on between work and building these projects and stuff. I just, you know, I wanna make sure I get the kids out for ride time. So I haven't been doing ride, much riding myself, but uh, most, mostly just uh, getting the kids out to ride. Oh, yeah, and a side note, as you can see, this is a friend's bike of mine. It's a Kawasaki Ninja ZX7, ZX9R. And it was, I mean, it's just weird how that happened. That My friend calls me up and says, hey, I picked it up. I'm going to build a drag bike. Picked it up for a good deal. And, uh, you know, I've got to go through it and get it running for him and everything. But the previous owner says it ran, and it was a friend of his. But he actually had a custom extended swing arm built on there. It's got the drag slick on there, the bigger chain, as you can see. Now on a side note, what, made, what makes this pretty cool is that that ZX9R engine is actually a ZX7R engine. Kawasaki took the ZX7R engine that you see here, and all they did, they bored it, stroked it, and that's it. You know, I ran uh, two millimeter bigger carburetors. Everything else is the same, clutches and everything. This is a very robust build, this little ZX7Rs. But Kawasaki had so much faith in this engine that they just bored, stroked it, the little 750, and they made it into a 9R. And that was one of the first bikes in the United States that ever that was in, that I know that's in the United States. I'm not going to say world, but in the United States, down here in Chicago, <laughs> from where I'm at, to break the nines. So that was that was very impressive. But that engine directly fits in here. It's the same engine. It's just a little. Uh, a few a few millimeters taller and the carburetor is a little bit bigger but that engine would fit right in here if i ever wanted to upgrade you know for more if i ever wanted more power i can always just pop that in there and give it a 20 shot of nitrous and i'll be really flying but i'm happy with the way it is so that's just future thinking but just wanted to give a quick update on the banshee that's the new look uh the plastics are just laid in place i haven't bolted them on and i haven't cleaned them up i just literally just got them in and i put them on there so just wanted to give you guys an update. Still waiting for chrome parts. Nobody wanted to touch the exhaust because it was a used exhaust and they said the carbon will contaminate their dipping tanks for the chrome. So I ended up just having a ceramic coat them. So I wanted to chrome the pipes, but nobody wants to touch them. So I called about four places and nobody wants to. So I just ended up ceramic coating them. You know, a little cheaper, but uh, um, so it saved me a little bit of money, but Anyways, all right, well, this is Banshee Fever 750 coming at you just with a quick upgrade, update on what's going on here. Um, 
wanted to share share to build uh, please rate and comment um, I've got a couple other guys that are sharing the same interest um, they've got a couple builds one guy's putting a ZX 6 r engine in a blaster and other guys putting a ZX 7 r in his banshee or I'm sorry warrior so we've been going back and forth you know uh, I was sharing my advice and my my wisdom on these builds this is my third one this is the best one so far so I'm just trying to help other fellow guys that are sharing the same interest uh, on how to build their street bike powered banshees with four wheelers or whatever they've got. But um, it's definitely, definitely a lot of work. You got to definitely commit yourself to it. But um, anyways, yeah, for all you guys out there, if you want to uh, sh share share my vids or if you know somebody who's building one, go ahead and make a comment. If I can help you with something, I will. Um, I've got plenty of videos there with tutorials on what I've done. Um, look them up and maybe they'll help you and I'll see you guys out there in the trail someday. Banshee Fever 750, over and out.